Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about one DAX function and it is same period last year. As the name says, this DAX function is used to get the results of last year for the same period. For suppose in the slicer you selected 2021 year, the same period last year function, it gives you the results for 2020. So it gives you the counts for it gives you all the counts for 2020. In case you selected 2021 years, let's say March month in the slicer. So uh, the same period last year function, it gives you March data of 2020 year. The same goes with week and day as well. So basically the same period last year function is used to give the results of of the same period from last year, from previous year. Uh, there are certain other DAX functions that give you exactly the same result as same period last year. And they are uh, parallel period and date add functions. Um, date add function, we have already discussed it while, while working with year over year. If you want, you can um, go to year over year uh, video and check for date add function there but parallel period function we are going to talk about it in the next video and in the next video will be will also be seeing the difference between same period last year and parallel period functions so because this video is about same period last year let's quickly get into my laptop and learn how to do it practically if you look at my screen here this is a simple power bi report and in this report i have two slicers one is for year and one is for month so my requirement is i want to compare the covid cases of this year to previous year okay so that's my requirement so i have uh, the data set for covid cases here so in the covid data set i have total number of cases okay so i'm going to uh, bring the total number of cases here okay so this is my total number of cases and i'm also going to get year from calendar data set okay so for 2020 i have these many cases and 2021 i have these many cases in in the us okay so now i want to compare this data with certain months certain weeks so what so what i'm planning to have is i'm planning to have one more uh, bar here by the side of one more bar here which shows the data for previous year so i'll just select 2021 here in the year so so that uh, this graph will be clear so for 2021 um, let's add border to this just to make just to make it look good okay so now here to this to this chart i want to add one more bar here which shows the data for 2020 okay so for that i'll be calculating a new measure and will and the new measure will be in the covid data set right so i'm calculating a new measure here and i'm naming the measure as same period last year okay and to cal so so in this measure we are calculating the values so it starts with calculate right and what am i calculating i'm calculating the sum of covid cases so the first parameter is sum of covid cases and the second parameter is we are cal now we want to calculate the previous now we want to get the previous year's data right so we give the function same period last year and for same period last year you give the parameter as the date because whatever date you select the same period last year it go, it is going to give the it is going to pick the same date from last year so you are going to give calendar date as parameter to this same period last year function. I am going to close this and now just say ok. 
now i'm going to bring the same period last year function uh, same so now i have 2021's data and 2020's data okay uh, to see the data in the table format you can click on this and say show as a table you this way you can see the numbers or else if you if you just want to see in a table format just change the visual to table that way it would be easier right so uh, 2021 cases are these these many cases we have and let's uh, format same period last year as well so so for 2021 for the whole 2021 we have these many cases and for uh, 2020 we have these many cases in the us okay now i want to um, get the number of cases just for jan jan 2020 so for just jan we have we just have so many cases in 2021 whereas in 2020 there were just 45 cases for jan let's change for feb feb you have 422 cases so whatever slicer you select based on that so because it's just august we we don't have uh, the data for august for 2021 so until july you can see the cases for 2021 and compare it with 2020 the same way you can do it for week as well uh, so what you can do is uh, you can add the week filter here you can add the week filter here along with year and month and select the week as well and then compare this year's week data to previous years same week data you can do that so this is about same period last year function so this is about same period last year function if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you